What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Splatoon 3 and before we kick off today's episode I want to thank you because you left over 12,000 likes in the very first episode and now has over 300,000 views and to me that's incredible. It's going to hit a million eventually. We're going to showcase the carbon roller but not specifically the carbon roller, the zip caster because I'm going to buy the carbon roller, I'm going to buy something else, the Luna Blaster as well and uh, I don't know what mode we're going to play uh, but sure, equip the carbon roller and probably just turf. We'll probably just just do these weapons and turf, I guess, because I want to test out the zip caster. Maybe people won't be anticipating so many attacks uh, in turf. Uh, but and plus, you guys, I did a poll on my channel. You guys like turf the most, which is odd to me. Splat zones is my favorite. <laughs> you guys are weird. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Uh, but uh, eventually, in, in a few levels, I'll be showcasing the Splatana Stamper too, uh, separately, uh, just individually. And I don't know what mode. Probably, probably turf again. So, um, any other ones for, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think, well, there's another Zipcaster. The, another Octobra. Oh, I own this one. <laughs> Never mind. Um, oh, well, I forgot to go check out. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, we, we leveled up our catalog. So, um, oh, hey. Yeah, I know. We went up. That's cool. I guess. <laughs> Anything in here that like like really stands out? I don't even know. Oh, this thing's so expensive. I love it. I'm almost there. Let's do uh let let's probably well, let's just sleep into turf right now. How about it? So this is but one of three weapons that I have that has the zip caster on, but I want to see if I can really use it to take people out. Um I think it's gonna be cool. Once you get really good with the zip caster, I bet it's really fun. So I'm gonna ink this part up here first. Whoa, did I do both of those? All right, that's pretty good coverage. Let's go up over here. Oh, geez, geez, Louise. We're gonna try to retreat, tactical retreat. I need more to get the zip caster going here. I do have an auto bomb, which is pretty cool. There you go, ran right over him. I'm on the retreat, dang it. They chased me down somehow. The tri oh, the Trizuka got me. That's what got me. I got it. I got it. How is this? How did I get the, a bit better cover than this? Uh, so I have an auto bomb. Auto bombs are helpful, I think. Uh, I'm gonna toss one over here. What? Man, I'm having a, it's taking forever to charge up the special with this weapon, though. All right. Let's go, let's go. Got him. Oh, I almost got water level dropping. Dang, I got him, but I died. Uh, so the water level dropping means you need more to ink, which is great. I guess. Oh man, I missed, missed that area up there. All right, so I like how this, it, it's like a closer combat at first. Dude. Dude, that was a nice splat, right? Come on, I gotta get the zip caster real soon. All right, zip caster is here. Let's go. Where are these guys? Uh, get me out of here! Dang it, dude! I threw the wrong button. I was trying to figure. Dang it, dude! I was trying to get out of there. I think someone used a zip caster up here. Must be what it was. Dang, dude, I I really botched the fir the opening here. No, crap, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was a weird round for me. You gotta you gotta do the special, and then you gotta hit the button again. I can't tell who won. 
We won! Yes! Perfect! Uh, all... Oh, that was terrible. All, uh, those, those are not good. Those are not good. Three silvers does not make good, I don't think. Alright, let's try again at the museum. I'm excited about this one. Let's go. Because there's a lot of high, high places to go here. This guy's gonna, I mean, the thing is with this weapon, it's much more offensive than anything else, I think, because of how quick it is. Let me fill this up. All right, got this. Got one guy, and I'm back. Love it. Oh, man. There you go. Oof. So those beacons, can you jump to those beacons? Maybe so. There you go, there you go. I out, out rollered that person. I'm gonna have uh, zip caster soon. Wait, get me up there. Dang, I didn't do much, but I got that covered, which is probably funny. Like they might be thinking, oh, I didn't have that covered. Nice shot. Great. Team's working pretty good together. Ooh. Oh, dang, dude, my camera wasn't even facing that guy. I'm dumb. All right, I'll probably switch weapons uh, in time for next round. Oh, crap, let me up there. Dang, dude, I need to get that covered somehow. Oh, I can get up here. Oh, this, there you go. This area wasn't even covered. Oh man, really? He's dead, okay, cool. If I can get back, you know, I mean, so much of our, so much of our side is just inked. There we go, got him. Uh, that's not very much, but dang it, dude. I died right there. Did they tell where I was going to land? There's like no one else on the map, dude. We're going to lose. hate dying at the end. I'll probably switch to the Luna just to see, you know, how we do with it. Maybe be more aggressive on the attacks. But we lost that one. Yep. Oh, well. All right. Back in the museum. I'm using the Luna Blaster this time. And uh, maybe I'll be a little more aggressive towards the players and see if that helps. I'll get some coverage up. up uh, you know, I'll probably just get, I know this is not a high coverage weapon, but if I can get the Zipcaster ready, then maybe I could just go in and attack people then. Of course, maybe with the Octobrush would be a little bit better, but. Fill it back up. There's a guy over there. So, oh, wow. Dang it, dude. Really? I'm out. That was pretty cool. Probably. Pushing them back a little bit. Got him. Got 
Dang, dude. What the heck? I'm used to using the Clash. And so the Luna's range is a little confusing to me right now. All right. God, what's happened there? All right, I'm back. No, how do they know? Did, can they tell? That sucks. If they can just tell where I'm gonna be, then that's that's annoying. They must be able to. There you go, good. All right, all right, so. What, how come? <laughs> all right, this, this takes some getting used to. Man, I'm dead again towards the end. Uh, but so are two of them. Man, okay. Luna's fun. I think Octobrush is really going to be where it's at. Because I'll be able to get enough coverage for it to be worth it to play this mode. We won! I didn't think we won. They missed some of their area. That might be why. I got two golds. That's good. I'll take that for sure. I like to get all three, but two is good. There we go. Okay, Mahi Mahi Resort. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Well, I got the Octobrush, which I think is going to be good for me personally because I'm going to be able to get a lot of coverage and also I think I'll be pretty effective uh, pretty effective uh, against the other players relatively speaking alright I can already use more ink I think I almost fell off of there oh crap Not a lot to get covered here. All right, here we go. There we go, there's one. Okay. That was a mistake, probably. That was a weird one. Let me retreat. Dang it, dude, I tried to retreat. He try strung me up. Uh, we got a lot of coverage. I'm jumping over here. <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. Trying to get away. Trying to get away. Trying to get away. Ah oh, man. That push kind of help the others kind of get in. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. There's some extra. We got a wipeout. Heck yeah. Let's take this and get it. I need a place to hide here, probably. Okay. In single player mode, I thought there was like a bit of a splash effect from doing that, but maybe not in this mode. Are they over here? Uh-oh. There you go, he ran right into that. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Nope. Oh, I fell in the water. Oh, that's cool. I fell off the map and I got saved, basically. 
I got two. I got two. All right, let's try not to die at the very, very end here. All right, so I think the zip caster is a little bit different than in story mode. But I'll try again with the same setup, and then we'll do story mode. That's another win. That's good. But I want to be sneakier with it against the other team. I only got one gold. All right, here we go. Let's do what we got to do. I want to. I want to get some cool splats with this. But I mean, I don't know. Part of it is I need to target the enemy and then shoot like right above them or behind them. I used to love the Octo Brush in Splatoon 2. And I kind of like the, the regular Ink Brush now in Splatoon 3. All right, so here's my plan. I stay up here. Oh, that didn't work. Dang it. All right. There is like no extra splash from, from this, is there? Like, you can't just land next to them and do... Like, in the story mode, there was some splash damage. I don't think that that's here at all. We got this covered pretty well, though. Where are they, dude? They having like a squid party or something up at their base? Got him. All right, here we go. Got him. Got him. I got one. You see that? Now that was a good move. Dude, he hit me. How do you know? All right. It's okay. Uh, I'm just going to jump over here. I don't know where to go. Dude. Wow, that was awesome. Dude, he said, that dude saved me. Oof. He had to leave. Anything to drive away the Chargers, man. We're doing surprisingly well. Uh oh. Oh, I got him a couple times. He's up here. Dang it, dude. God dang it. That guy is too good. Uh, this is scary, dude. This is scary. We could lose it here. I don't know. I don't know. I got, I mean, like, the thing is, is I, I have the zip caster so, yeah, we won. We won big time. I, I have the zip caster so, like, not very often that it's hard to use. And But I did use it really good that one time. I went above them, and this is, a, this is probably a great stage to do it on, too. So, uh, let's do story mode now. Let's back up and go into story mode. I have one thing to collect from the terminal. Let's see. Still need to add more slots to that, but I've been spending my money on other stuff. I did pretty bad that round. Anyway, um... Let's grab this. Good stuff. Excellent. This guy always wants to talk to me. Okay, he just has different advice every day. Anyway, let's finish up uh, Site 5. 
We should get that done pretty quickly, I think. And then when we do, let's see, what are we gonna do? I guess we're gonna, I guess then site six will open up. <laughs> so kettles, site five, uh, 10, 11. We, we get the chance to use the zip caster again. I think story mode threw me off. Like I wasn't really able to use a zip caster exactly how I want it to. Because I thought in my head that I'd be doing some splash damage, but I, I wasn't at all. But in the story mode, you're definitely doing splash damage. So that's one way to compare the difference there. Eventually, sure. Eventually, I'll probably have uh, some sort of compilation of all my coolest zip caster splats, but it'll it'll take some time. Here we go. All right, precision shooting. Done. Oh no! No, it's one of these. No. There's checkpoints. Thank God there's checkpoints. All right, let's go again. Really? Are you joking, kidding me? They want, I guess they wanted me to use the hardest weapon first. Let's go, I'm gonna... Got it. I think there's checkpoints. There may not be any checkpoints. Oh, wow. Okay. There, there it is. Got it. This is a checkpoint, right? See, why couldn't they give me a checkpoint on the other one? Nice. Another checkpoint. Nice. All right. Cool, cool, cool. What, what was that? What? No. What? <laughs> I thought it was going to automatically take me there. All right, here we go. Well, we're going this way. All right, gonna hit the balloon. And then uh, we're gonna probably grab this. Another checkpoint, whoa. Okay, so far so good. Wait, what? Go, 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 ride the whale. Yeah, I know, that's the plan. Oh God, what? Oh my, oh, oh, cool. Nice. I thought I had it, I thought I had to get them all. I was like, there's no way. But then I saw that there was a way. I just missed the one shot there. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? For real. <laughs> one more time. Did I not get them all? <coughs> Where am I going? What? What? Oh, is there? There we go. Hitting on the back. Ooh, sneaky. All right, let's go. Let's go. Looks like we're in the clear. Nice job. Awesome, nice job indeed. All right, that was actually fun. I'm glad I got it out of the way with the bamboozler.
Because the bamboozer is not my favorite gun. <laughs> so... Uh... What do we got here? Oh, we do have a we do have a couple other guns. I guess the next one I'll do is the middle one because it looks hard to. It's a tri stringer. So here we go. We're just gonna go opposite order in difficulty terms. Okay. But I had a lot of practice before. That works. And there's checkpoints. See guys, it's not hard to add checkpoints. You mean developers? <laughs> Precision, not even necessary. When you get the tri-stringer. But we were precise there. And we got a checkpoint here. Nice. Wonderful. No, I was still on the rail. Uh, you know what? I should do a vertical one for that one. All right, let's go, let's go. Whatever. <laughs> okay, whatever, that works too. <laughs> All right, let's go. Balloons. No, damn. Sometimes you, you're like, I made it, but they're like, oh, I guess I didn't make it. Uh, let's see. Made it. Awesome. All right, now we know there's one in the back. There you go, there you go. We're good at it, we're good at it. So now we just get to the end. And the next weapon should be even easier. So let's see it. Here we go. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we're fine. Let's just jump right in. And then we gotta complete we gotta complete this world too. Site five, that is. All right, Jet Squelcher. This one's gonna be way easy. I, I, I can just imagine how easy this is gonna be. Let's, let's go. Take a look at this. Got it, easy. All right, and then jump over here. And of course, we get a checkpoint here. This is so easy. I'm so glad I did the more difficult ones first, though, because these are really easy, in my opinion. All 
Right. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Sneaky, sneaky. I mean, this is so easy. <laughs> this is this was like I'd be I would be extremely surprised if I like lost this somehow. One thing you want to do is make sure to get the these balloons are a little out of range. Oh, going back around. That's fair. Can only hit so many of those. I bet. Actually, I bet a burst. But uh, yeah, I bet. I, I bet if I would have done the burst balloon on that, that would have been the real deal. Oh right, yeah, onion rings. Those calamari rings. Okay. Shooter on rails. I was so worried about the stage when I first saw it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> but you know. You know, we're doing good. We're doing good things. And so, um, now we're going to go to level 11, which is the zip castic thing. So let's do it. And uh, we're gonna use a zip caster again, which is great because it fits the theme of the video. And in story mode, I, I'm pretty sure it has a splash. We'll see if it has a splash. Just waiting. All right, let's go. I hope the stage is fun. Like, like, okay, like, let, let me, let me see. Yeah, there's a splash there. Is there a reason to go? Anyway, let's go over here. Awesome. I, I wonder, I wonder if I can just speed through this. This is pretty fun. Uh, wait, where are we going? Oh. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Che Final checkpoint. Love it. There we go. This is a really fun level, dude. That, that's so fun. I kind of wish you, you had it for longer in in the regular mode, but I could see how it get, would get really annoying. I feel like it needs to be buffed in the in competitive gameplay. <laughs> All right, but we got another stage with three weapons, so let's let's get over to it. And then uh, we'll finish exploring this map as well. But we're getting the levels done first. So level twelve, you'll go far if you shoot far. Let's do it. There's 13 levels on this one. That's odd. I think that's a little odd. Unlucky number 13. Uh, there we go. Explosher. Here we go. Right. Got it. Okay, so this is gonna be like a nice. I wonder if this is any like challenging at all. <laughs> like oh wow! 
There you go, there you go. Awesome. Oh, big boy. I'm up here. Oh. Got him. Understood. I understood the assignment. Oh, ow. Dang, I lost my shield by going down there. There's a checkpoint, though. No, no it's not. It's not a checkpoint. So far, so good on this. This is... Beautiful. And then, look at this. We got all this done. Got some more armor. This is the final checkpoint. We gotta do this like three more times with different weapons, or two more times with different weapons. Oh, let me, let me swim. All right, I'm gonna go up here. There we go. There we go, two more weapons. And then the last one only has one weapon, so that's that's good. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. And then, uh, where are we, where are we gonna go with this? So the same thing, basically, but but did with different weapons. So here we go. What? Oh, that was weird. That took some time to kick in. This weapon, this may not have as much range as I would think. Yeah, this doesn't have as much range as I would hope. So we're just gonna have to get a little up close and personal with some of these. It's okay. Knowing, knowing now the stage layout, I can pretty easily go through this. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. I see ya. <clears throat> Finally got it. <laughs> All right. I wish you could charge this in the air. I wonder why you can't. Like, are they just being mean about it? All right. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Oh. So this has like... So the first amount is kind of wide, or, or is it, it's like kind of wide, but then it gets more focused? Huh, I wonder what that is. I wonder if any, anyone's gotten like really good with this and like can can determine the differences and, and you know, use those to their advantage. I mean, probably. It's, I wonder if anyone mains this type of weapon.
As you see, it gets a little better. Okie doke. So, uh, one more weapon. Hopefully, it's better than that one. That was uh, that was not as quick as before, I guess, because it didn't say new record like it normally does if I, if I do it quicker. Anyway, uh, let's do the, oh the roller. All right, I'll try with the roller, man. I do wonder what I, they promise. You know, there will will be like a major DLC for this game. I wonder if there's any more story. All right, Dynamo Roller, let's go. This one costs me each time. It's a big. Oh, I forgot I could go down here. Ha, that went over. Let me see if I can get this guy. Man, you laid on such a such a thick track. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that went off the map. go Ow All right, hold on, hold on. Got him. There you go. I could have done a regular one. Oh man. Really? Dynamo roller, so I'm, I'm kind of out of practice with the dynamo roller. I have not had much luck with it. And so I haven't really used it lately. <laughs> Can I do that? It's not enough of it covered, though. There you go. Grenades work, too. You know, I'm probably not going to... Yeah, I did it. I did it. Nice. I thought that wasn't going to work. Yeah, let's put down some ink down here so I can so I can be good. I can be good. All right. Boom. All right, and then, uh, let's see. Oh, dang. Come on, how does this, okay, wait, does this one work? Oh, I can go down here, though. That's the beauty of it, is you can go down here. Nice. Ding, ding, ding. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm on the roll, I'm on the roll. I'm on the roll. Oh, low ink, low ink, low ink. You, you, you regain, gain a little bit of, of ink here and there. Alright, this should be good. This should be good. This should be good. Hey, surprise! I got him. Okay. This stage, we're done with this stage. There we go. You'll go far if you shoot far. That one, that was a little tedious. That one took even longer. So, the first weapon that we went with uh, ended up, the, the Explosher, right? Ended up being the best. So, um, you know, we have one more level to do. So let's get over to it. All right, next up we're gonna go to uh, Kettle 13 here and see what's gonna happen. There's only one weapon to do this with. And all the way back to the beginning, huh? Learn to reflect and this one is in the bank. Oh no, 
Is it a trick? Is it a puzzle? Is it? Is it? I don't know. Reflect. What do they mean by reflect? Is it one of the ones where I gotta like create the same thing? Oh no. Uh, I don't know. Here we go. Let's just see what happens. Angle shooter to reach the goal. That's interesting. Uh, what do I do? Use the angle shooter to reach the goal. That's Agent 3 job. Okay, yeah. Let's see how this works out then. Uh, do I even care about... I mean, this is just teaching me how to, like, bank it off here, right? Man. There you go. This is quite picky. Quite precise. Got it. Man, whatever. Boom, got it direct. Okay, this uses a lot of ink. Uh, so. There we go. Hey, that's a checkpoint, I'll take it. Oh. Ow. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Uh, do I have to take these guys out? Maybe. Oh dear. Huh. Why is he going up? You would think it would just go like right where you aim it. Why is it going up? Why is it? Yeah, hey, give me that, give me that. All right, got something there. It, it's weird, it's moving like up. Uh, oh, I bet, I bet if I do something like that. There you go. Angle reflector doing its thing. Uh, it's like I barely miss it, dude. Why does it go higher than I'm aiming? That's so annoying. How do I hit? Oh, I probably have to bank it off. Yeah, yeah there we go. What am I doing? Man, what? I don't like that it goes like, like pretty high. It's like. What? What is happening? It's not bouncing off that at all. What am I supposed to do? Where do I bounce this off of? I'm so confused right now. Oh! I can actually aim it. Right, okay. I'm so, I'm so confused though. Oh. I'm trying to hit, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. There we go, perfect, right? Oh, that missed. Nicely done. Now I probably am supposed to bank it off of here. All right. I 
I mean, really, I could probably just go over there and, and fight them directly, right? Like, this would probably be better. Like, why am I even trying to beat these guys? Alright, so, uh... Oh dear, uh... What am I... Okay, wait, what? There's so many of these fishy things. Am I supposed to hit that? Okay, cool. Oh, that's... But that's not all. Wait, what? Okay. All right, it's okay. Uh, Lowy and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fill it! Oh my god, I was, I wasn't even. There we go. No. Yeah, up here, up here. Swim up here, I think. I don't, I don't know where this goes. Oh, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Oh my goodness. Okay. I get it. I get it. I'm glad I don't have to do this over and over with different weapons. I mean, it makes sense because I'm basically using a sub weapon. All right, what's the goal? Oh my god, this guy's trying to mess with me, huh? Ow! Shoot! I mean, I can get this guy. There's more of them. Oh, no. It wants me to probably solve it a different way. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, my God. This guy again? Ow, my shield again. All right, that's the last of them. Awesome. Okay, so we're we're done with all the levels here, and now I just gotta finish up the the site. I gotta scrub the site clear. Give me like eight minutes. Eesh. So we're gonna go through. And see what's what. We got um okay, there's obviously some green all around here, around here, around here. Uh so let's move through the green. I don't know if there's anything like over here to look for. I'm in the thick uh I'll be in the thick of it in a second. Probably down over here. Maybe not, though. Really? Oh, no, we found a CD that was over here. Have I, have I not looked over here? I have looked over there. So, oh my, where... I remember finding something like over here. I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. 
Okay. Uh... Talk to me. Literally don't know what I'm looking for. I literally don't know what's going on because I feel like... We're already out of that area onto a new thing. Oh wait, I, saw, I see this here. I didn't see this before. The decoration, awesome. There's still something over here though, man. Uh, is it, is it just like in clear sight and I'm missing it or something? Is that what it's like? Wow. That was it. Yeah, okay, that's done. Okay, uh, jump over here because we got a couple things here to do. And uh, we really, we have a little bit of unexplored area over here and over here, but not so much over here. Sure, exactly what I'm looking for. We're outside of the zone now. If we go all the way this way, it might just be kind of a pl in plain sight type of thing, maybe, or, or maybe just in the corners. was not it it's up here there's the red I've gotten the red balloon haven't I I've gotten this balloon though that's for sure all right it's okay we'll find it we'll find it he's good at finding things I found it oh there's still more no there's not that was it okay great <laughs> Jump over there. I wouldn't be surprised if it was something like over here that I maybe missed last time. Yep. All right. Uh, it's still green over here. Hmm. A little bit that I didn't get. I got it then, just then. Great. There's a scroll. All right. As they grow, crustaceans such as the coconut crab frequently shed their shells to allow for further growth. Because strong sunlight encourages the shedding behavior, this may explain why Splatlands crustaceans often grow to be far larger than their counterparts in other regions. Interesting. That's why. Crustacean. And then uh, over here, and we'll find something there, probably. It's probably just like in the corners over here if I just go. Yeah, look at that. A sardinium, nice. And then no, we still have something else left over here. Uh, let's see. I mean, I know to look in the corners, so let me go look in the corners. There's something else over here. There we go. Can't have too many power eggs, they're right. And so we've got everything, we've got it surveyed, and thus uh, this uh, Echo Forest Tree Hills is 100% complete. 
We can look at the Alterna logs now and probably read everything. Fresh intelligence awakens. As the inner walls of Alterna collapse, thousands of tons of rock and liquid crystal plunge into the waters below. As these crystals uh, wash to and fro among the floatsum and jetsum, as I say that, of humanity's former colony, they broke into microscopic fragments. Because they had repeatedly absorbed and reflected humanity's wishes over so many years, the crystals retained those feelings. Little by little, the squids, octopuses, and assorted sea creatures that lit, that thrived in the waters of Alterna absorbed these crystals into their bodies. This process continued until one day, the marine organisms began to feel something, something fresh. These fresh impulses bore striking resemblance to humanity's passive desire to return to the Earth's surface. Spurred by these <laughs> impulses and whatever else may have been floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed pulmonary respiration, mobility, and other traits consistent with the land-dwelling creatures. They began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remarkable pace across generations. Some species even gained extraordinary camouflage capabilities. Uh, at point of no, a point of no return arrived, the sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry land and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface. Of course, survival on land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon, they found the tunnels that humans had used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh fledgling beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights on the surface world. Awesome. Well, good on them. They, I, I'm proud of them for that. And I'm proud of you guys for sticking around for this. And thank you for watching. Let me go now to the map. Uh, we're going to go to the map. There it is. We're going to go to uh, Site 1, Future Utopia Island. Jump to the Squid Sisters camp. And what do we got here? Here we are. And since I have completion on that... You really scoped this place out thoroughly here. I made a map. Excellent map. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I will definitely see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.